Hi everyone, this is Meg from AIM Fitness and I am here with Little Fit Finley and I wanted to welcome you to day number four of our five day fitness challenge. We are almost done our challenge and I am so excited that you've been with me exercising hopefully every day so far and especially I'm hoping that you're feeling really good as you do it. So I'm gonna put Fit Finley down and we're gonna get started right away. So today's workout is gonna be focusing on our core and balance. And the two of these go really hand in hand, uh, I believe, because in order to have better balance, we need to have strong core muscles. Now these muscles wrap all the way around our torso and even into our back and really help us when we're leaning and reaching for something, twisting, um, and maybe even getting out of bed. We need these muscles to help us. So we're gonna get started right away. We're going to be doing some exercises standing. Most of them will be standing. We'll end with just a few on the chair, but for today's workout, you're gonna need that chair close by, just in case you need to hold on at any point. All right, so we're gonna get started with our side steps. And uh, like I said, hold on to that chair if you need to. So you may choose to put that chair right in front of you. Now, um, if you've been with me before, you're feeling pretty good. You can also choose to add your arms. All right, so as we go, I will be giving you options for those of you who are maybe finding your balance is a bit challenging. Um, and then those of you who consider yourself to be expert exercisers, <laughs> I'll give you an option as well. All right. Now, I am so passionate about fall prevention and especially keeping up on your feet and having a strong balance and strong legs will really help with that. Now, as we continue, I want you to tap that foot right against the other leg and you can choose to continue swinging those arms, holding on or bringing your arms out in front. All right, so my rule of thumb, my trick for you here is every time you lift your foot from the floor, we wanna pull in that core and relax it when you lower the foot. So we're pulling in, relaxing down, pulling in, relaxing down. All right, very good. All right, now we're gonna continue, this time adding a kick. So kicking right across to the side, step and kick, step and kick, holding on to the chair, or the other option is to reach away from the leg with the other arm. All right, so getting a good stretch in the leg, tightening in that core, feeling it working here, and adding that balance. All right, very good. That's great. So from here, we're gonna be changing it up. Now, if you have that chair, you may wanna to choose to walk right beside it. I'm gonna show you from the side so you have a better view but we're gonna start by taking a few steps forward. As you do so, look straight ahead. Don't look down at your feet as, as much as you want to. Your balance will actually be better if you look straight ahead. All right, so one foot in front of the other. Very good. You can also do this alongside the chair, which looks like this. Same, same thing, about three or four steps forwards and back. All right, good. So as you're, as you're working on your balance, remember shoulders back, breathing, and do what you can here, but we really want to encourage a nice strong torso, standing up nice and straight. All right, here's the next option. So I'll show you from the side. We're gonna do one, two, three, and then we're gonna take that back foot, lift in front, and then tap back, one, two, Three, lift the front foot, lift and lower. Again, traveling forward, so three steps. One, two, three, lift the back foot up and tap back. One, two, three, lift the front foot. So we're gonna continue with this. Use that chair if you need to, lift. And one, two, three, front foot up. Good, one, two, three, back foot lifts, and step back, one, two, three, front foot. One more time, one, two, three, lift the back foot in front, one, two, 
three, and lift that front foot. All right, good job, good job. So it's always good to think about how can I make sure my feet are always uh, under me, and how can I make sure I'm safe when I go outside, maybe for a walk or traveling in or in out of a car, going up and down curbs. And one way is to keep those feet moving, challenging ourselves with different step positions. Now the next one we're gonna do, which also is uh, very relevant to this, is called the clock. So I've got two options for you. Option one, hold on to a chair, and we're gonna start with your hand on your hip. And let's start by tapping front, to the side, and behind. So just imagine the hands on the clock, 12 o'clock, three o'clock, or nine, and six. Now the leg you're standing on should be slightly bent at the knee, Keep that leg soft. So front, side, and back. Good, and again, front, side, and back. Now we're gonna do the other side and then we'll do um, both sides once more. So other side now, front, side, and back. If you're comfortable here, you can choose to lift one or both hands. Good, and back. Keeping that knee nice and soft, shoulders are back. We're breathing, there's so much to think about, but you're doing it, good job. <laughs> and then one more time, front, side, and back. All right, let's walk that out. That can sometimes, uh, you can sometimes you can feel it in your knees and your hips a bit. And we're gonna do the other side. Now this time you have that option to tap, or here's your second option. You can tap and lift, bring that foot in. You can tap and lift, bring the leg in to touch, tap and lift, bring that foot back in. All right, so we'll do that again. Tapping and lifting, so that is your option. Tap and lift, bring that leg in, tap and lift. Good, again, tap and lift. Keep on breathing here. And tap and lift. Good, two more times. All right, good, tap and lift. Tap and lift. And once more, tap and lift. Tap and lift. And once more, tap and lift. And bring that foot back in, walk it out. Amazing job, very good. This one works your brain as well. <laughs> now, of course, at that point, if this is again, if over time it becomes easier, you can lift your hands. But I do recommend starting at least holding on with one hand. Let's do the other side. So tap and lift, bring the leg in. Tap and lift and in. Tap, lift and in. Good. Tap and lift. Tap and lift, tap and lift. Now as you're doing this, think about tightening up the core again every time you lift that leg. So tap and lift, tighten the core, tap and lift. Good, we'll do it two more times, here we go. Good, maybe challenging your balance in new ways. Good, and one more time. Good, keep on breathing. And last time. All right, good, let's walk that out. Amazing job. You'll feel that in your legs as well, absolutely. Now we are gonna take um, a bit of a break from standing and let's have a seat. So you'll need that chair. And I do recommend a straight back chair, a chair that's not gonna be moving, so nothing on wheels. And walk those feet away from you. Now, bring your heels to the floor, lift your toes up, and we're gonna do one of my all-time favorites called the reverse sit-up. So bring your arms right across your chest, you're lengthening, so you're sitting nice and tall, and then lean back, but don't touch the back of the chair. Tighten up your core and keep that spine nice and straight. All right, so here we go, leaning back, not touching, you'll feel your core tightening up. Good, breathing in and breathe out. All right, very good. Noticing if you feel any tightening up in your stomach as you lean back. 
All right, you'll have to let me know at the end of this video. Let me know how you found our workout today and also let us know where you're tuning in from. It's fun to hear about everyone around the world who's exercising uh, with us for this challenge. It's so fun. All right, good job. Let's go for three more. Breathing in and breathing out. Good. Now this is a really good exercise you can do right on the side of your couch. So next time you're on, on the couch watching TV, think about me <laughs> and exercise as you're sitting there. It's a perfect time to do it. All right, let's finish up here and bring those feet in, circle your shoulders backwards. All right, good. Now we're gonna stay on the chair for one more. We're near the edge of the chair. Now bring yourself back so you can tap your shoulders, lean your shoulders against the chair. Arms nice and wide, and then lift your knee, reach your hand to your opposite knee. So this is option one. Option two is bringing your elbow right across. All right, tightening up that core every time you lift your knee. Pulling it in, breathing in and out. All right, so you should always have one shoulder touching the back of the chair. And you should feel as you're bringing your hand or your elbow towards the chair, you should be, uh, or towards each other, you should be feeling your stomach working. All right, breathing in and out. Very good, let's go for three. And two. Come on, Finley. Cheer us on. Come on, Finley. And one. All right. Good job. Let's sit up a little straighter and circle backwards. All right. Good. So one of my challenges for you is to see if you can bring your hands together only, safely and bring yourself up out of that chair using just your legs. So try that out. It's a good thing to do. Now let's move that chair back to the side because we're going to do another standing exercise. Let's start here. You can hold on for balance and we're going to be lifting your leg that's closest to the chair, opposite arm, and we're going to be lowering your foot first and then lift your hand to tap your knee. All right, so bring that knee up, tightening up that, that core. This is option one, holding on. Option two is lifting both arms, just focusing on one leg at a time. You'll notice that. All right, good, let's keep going. Those of you who are advanced, don't touch the floor. Ooh, don't touch the floor in between. See if you can keep that foot just a few inches from the floor as you lower. All right, tightening up that core. Good, focusing on our balance, good. All right, let's do three, two, and one, all right. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Walk it out to loosen up. Opposite side, you may wanna move that chair, which is also good, good, uh, good strength practice as well. Doing the opposite side, so option one. Good, option two, keeping the other arm up. Option three, not touching the foot to the floor. So challenging that balance, challenging leg strength too. All right, very good. Keep it up, whatever you're doing. Keep on breathing as well, that's so important. All right, very good. And let's do three and two and one. All right, well done. Now let's continue with uh, one more balance exercise. We're gonna finish with that. This is the tree pose, which I love. It's great for every ability. You can bring your heel to your foot, toe out to the side, and lift those branches. Pull in your core, and really press into your toes. Have that full foot uh, touching the floor, pressing into the floor, and your options are lifting a few fingers, maybe lifting the entire arm, you can also bring your hands right to your heart, or you can play around with your foot. So you can lift your toe. This way, if you need to touch down, your foot's right there, or you challenge yourself by lifting that foot a little bit higher. All right, and then the final arm option is reaching up overhead. 
All right, so choose your options. Good to try something that will challenge you, but it's also good to make sure you're doing it safely. All right, let's hold it here. Another two, one, and release. Good, let's walk that out. Now a good time of day to do your tree pose is when you're brushing your teeth or when you're on the phone. Because you're here, here, you're still pretty sturdy. You're still pretty sturdy, but I do recommend having a chair or even better yet, a counter. All right, good. So play around with those feet. What do you wanna do here? Maybe lifting that foot, leaning it right below the knee. You wanna protect your knee joint. Good, or playing around with the arms. Hands to your heart is another option or even arms overhead. Woo. <laughs> Good, so find that option, whatever feels best for you today. Good. All right, hold it here. Another five, four, three, two, and one. And let's walk it out. All right, good job, good job. So we're almost finished. We're almost finished. We're done our workout. I hope you feel really good. Those were some great exercises for the core. Lots of our standing balance exercises also in, 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 incorporated core strength too. All right, so Finley and I will give you just a few tips before you leave. So our first tip that I wanna share with you is the nutrition tip of the day. So our, my nutrition tip is to incorporate more protein into your diet. So uh, it's important to have more protein because this is what helps us to maintain and to build strength in our muscles, to build up our muscles. Um, so, and if you're someone who wants to improve your, your strength, um, having protein in your diet is really essential. Now there's things that you can do. Maybe you are, are someone who eats a lot of chicken, um, eggs for breakfast, that works well. But here's some other ideas too to incorporate protein in. You can start your day with a smoothie and having adding some protein powder uh, to, to your smoothie can help to sustain you. Another option is to add more legumes, um, chickpeas, uh, having tofu and other meat alternatives can also be really helpful. And I know that a lot of people nowadays are looking for some meat-free recipes. So even if you go to Google and type in uh, simple recipes for dinner, healthy um, vegetarian, that will bring you lots of really good options as well. All right, so that's my nutrition tip of the day, more protein. And typically, if we're looking at a plate, we want to have about a quarter of the plate with protein. All right, now the next tip for you, the next tip for you is a motivation tip. And I find that sometimes it's easier to take action. It's easier to exercise when we think about the end result. So for example, you could fill in the blank. If I blank, then I will see blank. So fill in the blank for yourself. If I start exercising three times a week, then I will see more strength and better balance. So there you go. Here's another one. Um, if I start to focus on my balance for 15 minutes every day, then I will hopefully prevent falls and improve my balance. So I find it really helpful when we think about what am I gonna do and what will be the result? If I do it, what's going to happen? Because that can keep us motivated even on the days when we don't really want to exercise. All right, so I hope that was helpful. Great nutrition and some motivation there for you as well. So I think Fit Finley and I are ready to put our feet up. <laughs> He's always ready for that. But before you go, be sure to let me know in the comment section where you're tuning in from and what do you think you need to work on more? Your core strength or your balance? So let us know in the comment section right below. And I wanna thank you so much for joining today. Tomorrow is our last workout, day number five, and we are going to be focusing on seated exercises. So you will definitely need that chair and I will see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching, bye-bye.